Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. In the studio, I'm gonna be unboxing what I think is the ultimate beginner guitar or intermediate guitar. I mean, heck, I had so much fun with this guitar. Let's open it up and find out what it is. All right, you guys, here we go. Let's open it up and find out what's in the gig bag. I gotta say, the gig bag is actually really nice as well. Here we go. I do like the new style gig bags for electrics and acoustics that have the double zippers and then they just fold apart. Makes it very easy to access guitars. Oh, here we go. And for the reveal, here it is. Right, now at this point, I think a lot of you guys will be able to guess what the brand is. The oval sound hole really has become a hallmark for the brand. This is the new guitar and the most affordable that they've ever done uh, from Lava. So this is the Lava Me Play. Now on the top, you still get, of course, that screen. Um, there's some new features this year, new processor, I think as well, um, that I think elevates this from just, you know, a entry level guitar to one of the best for new players. So yes, you still get Output jack, uh, charging port right there. Nice to see that output jack on like an entry level guitar so you can still plug into a PA system. You can play it live, you can record with it, uh, just like that, super awesome. Still has the built-in speaker for effects, for looping, for recording quick and dirty clips. Um, so all that stuff is still here um, on the screen. So we'll get into, I think, uh, I'll talk about maybe one of the new features right away. Um, really like the truss rod cover, it's magnetic. So no tools, keeps things clean. You just kind of pop it up and see if I can do this here. Slide it out. There it is right there. And I don't know if you can read that, but it says truss rod with a down arrow. <laughs> just in case you are not sure what this is for. Uh, pretty clever magnetic cover. Just a small thing. I think they introduced that last year, but I really like that. Um, yeah, and plays really nice. So we'll get into all that in a second. A uh, bunch of different colors. This is high pressure laminate. So I think they said the bracing inside uh, and the cross members and stuff is spruce, uh, but all the outside, like the, the lava blue, is uh, HPL. So it should be pretty durable as well. This one's in a very, very clean white, but there's a bunch of colors. Anyway, let's get into why I think this is uh, one of the best guitars uh, for newbies. Here we go, let's get in. Now, what I really like about this guitar is just the sheer number of ways you can play it. So you can just use it as a straight up acoustic guitar. You don't have to use any of the effects. You don't have to use any of the apps, although they're all very, very useful. And I would certainly recommend using the tuner, one of the best ones I've ever used. And you know, you might never ever use this feature, but as you grow, it suddenly might become very indispensable. You can suddenly start playing live shows. You can do coffee shops. You can do talent shows, whatever you're into as you grow as a player. That feature is there, that preamp, for when you need it. And you might never use any of the apps, even though there's you know tons that are super useful, um, you know, but they're there for you when you grow and you need them. So I really love that and they're all super useful. The tuner's awesome, a fully featured metronome, the effects we've talked about. Um, when I did the Lava Me 3, if I just go to Big Ben here, there's a bunch to choose from, as you guys can see, hopefully. This has just got some like chorus and delay on it. So that's where having that internal speaker is just the best because you know you can test out all sorts of different effects. One of my favorite features is doing improvs. This is great for like jamming and learning scales and stuff like that. There's just a bunch of different keys. You can preview them. So it tells you the key, so you can instantly start jamming. So if I just randomly pick, I'll just pick the first one. You can record it as well. You can see right there, there's a record button. So if you wanna record your jams, but this is like the best for just learning how to improvise, play some scales. There's tons of different keys. So if I just pl hit play here,
and that's how easy it is. So if you want to start learning your scales, you find the key, you start learning your scales, and off you go. That is like one of my favorite features. Obviously, the loops is amazing. You can pick drum loops, and then you have like, I think three or four other loops that you can go over top of it as well. Right, now all the tones you guys were hearing was straight from the internal speaker into my lav mic. I didn't have it mic'd up or plugged in, just playing informally for you guys. But it's really nice to have that speaker because you know I could sit on my back deck or take it to the lake or wherever and have all the same features, which is really nice. Now, if you do have uh, a previous model, you can update the software because we're gonna talk about one of those features. Just scroll over to updates, hit that one, and then it'll tell you if you have the 2.0 software. As you can see, I have the 2.0. You can just uh, drag down and it'll refresh and tell you if you need to update. So if you have a previous uh, Lava model, uh, check the update because then you'll have these new features. Let's go through my favorite one. All right, you guys, two main new features on the 2.0 software. You got live drums, which is basically a drum machine. So you can select your drums. You've got A, B, and C. You've got, you know, fills and ending and that kind of stuff. You've got tap tempo right there. You can choose your tempo. You can go and choose uh, in the drop down menu a bunch of different drums. So that's really cool to have like kind of a fully featured drum machine on a guitar. <laughs> Pretty fun stuff. But my main one is the learn tab. This one is amazing. So you just hit learn and you've got a bunch of different stuff. So you can filter it right away. So if you just hit the filter button, you can go by level. So beginner, elementary, elementary uh, intermediate and advanced. You can go by genre, uh, all that kind of stuff. That's amazing right off the bat. So I'm just going to hit cancel, um, go to skills and you'll see basically um, solo comping technique, licks and riffs, all this stuff built straight into your guitar. So if you just want to hit play and sort of see what they are. It's got the tab and it's literally playing it for you out of the internal speaker, which is amazing. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that real well, um, but you can just kind of go up. So yeah, right away, you've got all those amazing, you know, tab right there. And if you want to go to solo and start learning like some guitar solos, you can just hit that. So really amazing. And again, you can filter it by skill level. So you can learn a solo that's, you know, comparable to your, your skill. Uh, techniques, really cool stuff there as well. Here's a Steve Vai picking exercise. So let's try that, why not? So if I wanna play that, I'm just gonna hit play and that'll kind of take it to the screen where you can actually make some edits because you can play this with the metronome if you want. So you can have the metronome going while you play. So count in. And then take it out. But what I really like is down here. Obviously you can select a capo if you wanna practice this capoed. You can also check it out. If I'm just learning it, I might wanna go slower. So I can literally slow it down, hit play. So cool. And then once you have it mastered, you go back to one times and hit play. And then you've got it mastered, which is really, really cool. There's also things like licks and riffs. So again, a bunch of different styles. You can just test them out. So really cool stuff, chords, like it just goes on and on. So it's literally like having a guitar teacher built into your guitar. Obviously it's not the same one-on-one -on -one kind of explanation, but 
really amazing things. Uh, scales and arpeggios, like it's just got all sorts of stuff. I think there's over a hundred different exercises or something like that at the moment and they could add more. <laughs> So that's really what I mean by this guitar grows with you. You play it acoustically, you plug it in, you use effects, the learning tools. There's a bunch of exercises here that I would benefit from playing. You know, I've played for years uh, or just the very first blues. It just gives you the tab, gives you a count in and off you go. Gives you a bass line and some drums. Then it shifts up. And then once you have the rhythm, you can start just improvising. And I just can't see any again, but. So yeah, amazing features in terms of just learning uh, the instrument from basic chording to like complex rhythms, from like basic blues to like, yeah, Steve Vai <laughs> finger exercises. There's a bunch here and that's uh, some of the advantage. Uh, if you wanna get home, you just swipe up and it takes you to like the main app grid and then you can go side to side there to find your apps. And then there's some quick keys uh, along the bottom there too. So user face, as I've said in pre previous videos, so easy like you don't need the booklet <laughs> it's that intuitive you just swipe your way around um, and just look for the little menus within uh, your main thing so if you like pick an effects or uh, an effect or something like that you can hit the button and tweak some of the parameters of it and all that kind of stuff so you don't have to it's super easy you can just use the basic ones but if you want to dive deep the menus are there. So here are my final thoughts on the Lava Me Play. Number one, I love that they've brought all the high-end electronic stuff to their budget line. There's so much you can do with this guitar. Uh, ultimate versatility. That is the strength of this instrument, is just the sheer versatility of it. So yeah, absolutely love that. The design is fun and cool. This is, I think, the 36-inch version, so the smaller uh, version. The HPL is what it is. So I think if you were to, you know, spend the same amount of money on like, you know, something with a spruce top or a cedar top, it's going to sound better than the HPL. I think that's the one kind of knock on this one. I understand why they did it though, because as a beginner guitar, you can knock this around the HPL. You can get it a little wet. <laughs> you can take it to a desert. It's not going to behave the same way as a full like wooden top guitar. Uh, it's durable and as like a beginner guitar, I can really appreciate that. So I understand why they use the HPL, um, but it's not gonna sound the same as like, like I said, a spruce top or a cedar top guitar that you're gonna have to be careful with, especially if you live in areas with like extreme heats, like winter, summer, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is just gonna handle it all really well. Love the gig bag as well. So the versatility is insane. The guitar plays really well, like all the way up to the 12th fret, as you guys saw with soloing, plays completely fine. It sounds really, really good. The fret works nice on it. Um, it's held tuned perfectly. The whole video, you know, was very informal. I was just playing for you guys, didn't tune it up once, and I was doing bends and that kind of stuff. Um, the tuner is awesome on this guitar, but I didn't have to tune it up uh, once in the, the whole amount of playing I was doing. And I'm pretty sure, still in tune. And you know, I was doing, you know, the kind of bends and that kind of stuff, totally in tune. Yeah, really nice. So holds tune, that's great. Uh, build quality is really nice. They can do some stuff with HPL that you can't really with the traditional. Uh, I know it's a little washed out, but you know, the neck joint here is so slim. <laughs> Just very, very different. So access for an acoustic guitar that without a cutaway is actually pretty good. So uh, lightweight, yeah, well built, but the strength of this guitar is the versatility and the ability to walk you through some exercises that are really gonna benefit you. So if you're like, I need to work on my chording, it's got chording stuff, uh, rhythmic stuff. If you're like, I need to start learning scales and improvise, well, there's exercises for that. If you're like, my pinky doesn't work, well, there's finger exercises for you. Like there's all that stuff, which makes this, like I said, pretty much the ultimate beginner guitar. So really cool instrument. Um, I'll link to it down in the video description below. You can get the full specs there and pricing very reasonable for what it is. And like I said, the gig bag's really nice as well. So you can take it around without worrying about it. Uh, so that is a brief look, a really quick look at the Lava Me Play. 
brand new model just released. So there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the demo. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of great guitar content lined up for you guys. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.